Once upon a time, and this time is not that long ago, just about two years, if you had a one-shot color camera, you were locked out from all the beautiful SHO world. All you could do were some boring reddish images. But then came actually Ascar with their Color Magic series and presented the D2, which was a dual narrowband filter covering O3 and S2. And this was really a revolution as now, everybody also with a one-shot color camera could do SHO pictures. And for a long time, Ascar stayed the only provider of such a filter. And in the last weeks came on one side Optolong along with their, I think it's called Synergy filter. And on the other side, SV Boney with their SV220, S203 filter. And in this video, we will compare the SV Boney with the Ascar filter and see which one is better. Hey, this is View in the Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland. So great to meet you and thanks for watching my channel. So we are here in Pix Inside and if you look here on top, you still see the images of the HA and O3 filters. And that's an other review where I also compare the SV Boney 220 dual narrowband filters for HA and O3. And if you're interested in that, at the very end, I will also provide a link to that review. But in this video, we care about the O3 and S2 filter. And by the way, there is no need for you to take these both filters from the same manufacturer. So if you already have, for example, an Octolong or an Antlia filter on the HA03 side, you could still choose here the Ascar or the SV Boney filter on the S203 side. So that doesn't have to match together. So the SV Boney 220, S2 and O3 comes in exactly the same package with the same name as all its other filters. And it costs, if you look at this video right when it's published, and we're still in that Black Friday period, 145 euros, which is a bargain. And the original price is 179 euros, which is still really, really cheap. Compare that to the Ascar Color Magic D2, which is at the moment available for 390 euros. So double the price. So also here the question, like in the other video between the SV Boney and the Antlia, also here the question, is it actually worth spending double the money for the filter? Or to ask it differently, does a discount filter also look like a discount filter? We will look at that right now. And surprise, surprise, I'll stay with exactly the same object as I used for the other filter review, the Orion Nebula M42. And I used exactly the same testing method. So 20 picture each with 120 second exposures. So that's not a lot, but it's sufficient, especially with such a bright object like the Orion Nebula. By the way, I have not mentioned that yet. The SV Boni SV220 is 7 nanometers, and the Ascar Color Magic D2 is 6 nanometers. And in principle, that's the same. So, this is the picture with the D2 as before, as also in the other test. These pictures have not been altered in any way, they have been stacked. Full stop, no gradient removal, no nothing. That's it. So this is the Ascar Color Magic D2 picture. And now we start toggling. This is the SV Boney picture. And toggling it like that, the differences are very subtle. Just optical, from my perspective, the SV Boney even looks, if I look at the nebulosity, a tiny little bit sharper. The stars from that distance look approximately the same. But let's zoom in now and look exactly at the stars. And when we toggle now, if we take 
this brightest star here, you see that with the ASCAR, there is a little bit less halo than with the SV Pony. And that might also be the case for the double star here and also for this bright star here. But if we look at the smaller stars, there is no difference visible. And if we look here again at the nebulosity, it looks approximately the same. But you know what? I don't care so much about these pictures. Because what I really care about is the S2 channel. And that's what I did here. I extracted the S2 of these two pictures. And the S2 is in principle the red channel. So we see here the red channel of the D2 versus the red channel of the SV Boni. And let's start toggling again. And quite honestly, first of all, the difference again is minute. If you look here at the structure, it's really, you couldn't say one has more information than the other. But if your heart press me to choose one, if I can, now can just keep one and I have to send the other one back, quite honestly, I will keep the SV Pony. This year looks, it looks more noisy actually. And the background is darker with the SV Pony. And what that actually means is that the information is brighter. There's more information and that's how then the background gets a little bit darker. So personally, I feel that the SV Pony brings here even the better result, even if it is half the price. And so I really do not want to prolong this video. The only thing what I can tell you here is if you want an O3 S2 dual narrowband filter, do not look any further and take the SV Pony. And quite honestly, if you would have told me that before I did this test, I wouldn't have believed you. So this is really a miracle to me that they can produce this quality of filter for that price. But I believe it would be the wrong place to be a snob and to say, <laughs> I still want now another uh, more expensive filter or whatever. I mean, this filter delivers what the ASCAR does for half the price. What do you want more? And if you're still now curious how it looks like on the HA03 side, then have a look at my other video right here. See you next time and clear skies.